Hello everybody, my name is Lori Anderson. I'm a contributor for FreedomOutpost.com as well as Resurrect the Republic Truth Radio broadcast on RBN Network. I wanted to address the civil rights issue topics that are coming up with these individual protesters whether uh, that are George Soros funded. And the reason that I would like to address this is because in a disturbing truth, so many people do not realize that civil rights issue is um, somewhat of a scam. And I will explain that in just a moment. Each and every one of you have a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You were born with that right. It is inherent in you when you take your first breath. That is a gift that God Almighty gave to you and cannot be taken away by any man or any government. So what has happened in the civil rights quotes and everything else, the misnomer of it, is the problem is the individuals that are seeking those civil rights are asking government permission for a right that they already had from their first breath. And it doesn't matter what you believe in, whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, Socialist, Communist, it doesn't matter. You have a right to believe and pursue happiness for your life. Now, the situation that comes with this manic hysteria that is being propped up by the George Soros paid pundits and then a lot of individuals are, are following right along with this, the, the very disturbing fact is, is they had rights from the time they took their first breath. The only thing that the Constitution does and the Bill of Rights does is limit the federal government. It does not limit the individual. And the problem of marching to have the government write something in a law or in a in a code if you will is giving the government you're you're handing the government um basically saying you are um above me and you have the right to tell me whether i have this right or not and that's truly not the case the case of the matter is, is that you were born with those rights. The Bill of Rights is not a Bill of Rights, it's a Bill of Limitations. The Bill of Limitations, or no, also known as the Bill of Rights, it only limits the federal government from touching your unalienable rights that you were already born with. Man created the Constitution, although that will be a topic for a different day because there's a lot of information that has been come out in the last few years, real documentation that uh, proves the usurpation of that. However, I want to stay on topic. So your rights that you were born with, when you try to get the federal government, if you will, the de facto um, United States of America Incorporated, to write into a bill that you have that right, you are then giving them the ability to take that right away. So it's no longer a right, it becomes a privilege and that is the problem each and every individual that believes in the Constitution of the United States of America and the Bill of Rights or also what it really is the Bill of Limitations stopping the federal government from touching your unalienable rights in the first place is making that mistake because once you draw them into that and you say hey yes I need you to put this in your thing that that I have this right, then what happens is then they can take it away. It's no longer a right, it becomes a privilege and only through them giving you permission to do so. You have a right to assemble with whoever you want to assemble with. You have a right to free speech. Congress shall make no law concerning freedom of the press freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, redress of grievances, and it goes on and on. Shall not be infringed for the Second Amendment means just that. 
shall not. There, every gun law that is on the books in the federal government is illegal and unlawful. They know this. However, the people have been fooled. And they've been fooled into thinking that the government ever had the authority in the first place to touch those issues. And because they've been allowed to get by with it, many people, along with, you know, what's going on with the public school system, and they teach children that, you know, the government has the right to do that. No, they don't. They never have. So why in the world you're screaming against these Trump supporters, um, all because George Soros wants to, to pay people to start riots and everything else? And let me tell you something. Make no mistake. This is the same thing he did with Crimea. This is the same thing he did in the Ukraine. This is the same thing he's done in Syria with the Arab Spring. He is behind a lot of this mess. And what he does is he does these fake movements. He pays these individuals to do this. He gets them to go in to um, also help manipulate individuals that don't know any better. They go in. They want to start a civil war so they can have a breakdown. Do you want your country or your union to look like Syria? Do you want it to look like what happened in the Ukraine. Do you want any of that? If you do not, then you need to stop following these people who are paid in order to destroy our union. And stop talking about civil rights. We do not get our rights from the federal government. We do not get our rights from the state government. They get their authority to be able to even operate from the whole of the people in the union. The people are the ones who created the union. The people are the ones who created the central government. Therefore, the servant is not above the master. And that is why those Bill of Rights or Bill of Limitations is what it should be called. Because those Bill of Limitations are what they were not allowed to touch. Why do you consistently and keep asking the government permission or trying to get them to write anything that gives you, that makes you perceive in your mind that, oh, well, now that they've written it down on paper, it means I have that right. Wake up, people. I love each and every one of you. I do. I have no hate in my heart for anybody. I don't. But this, these individuals that are following these uh, paid protesters, basically it's like a, a um, George Soros mafia type connection situation. And um, y'all are following along with the mafia. When you're, when you're looking at paper, what happens when he becomes uh, investigated? If there's a money trail, well, that's no different than way back in the day for the mafia. They're getting paid to destroy people's businesses, homes, livelihoods, create fear, terrorism, same thing as the Mafia strong arms that used to be way back in the day. And you know what? Al Capone went out down over taxes. So I just want to ask you to please think about that. You keep trying to make people panic over World War Three already around the globe. Leaders around the globe are reaching out to Donald Trump and he's not even in office yet. Already things are being reversed. The years and years of support for these terrorist organizations that the Obama administration and Hillary Clinton have had their hands directly in, as well as Soros, that have caused the mass murder of tens of thousands of people. Innocent men, women, and children. That is already starting to wean down. 
leaders from around the globe are thrilled. Stop with this rhetoric that, oh, well, there's going to be a nuclear war now because of Trump. He's gotten elected. He's not even in office. And there is already more individuals that are coming out in high places all across the globe ready to work with Mr. Trump. Stop your panic tactics. It is not working. It, it's just not. The Mexican president, the Canadian president are already talking about renegotiating NAFTA. Putin has already said he is willing and ready to start healing between the United States and Russia. And even though it's not been Russia's fault, no matter what mainstream media has been telling you, it's not Russia's fault. It's the United States of America's fault. It's the United Kingdom's fault. All these corrupt globalist elite that just want to kill off Assad for no reason have been not only complicit, but very active in supporting, arming, training terrorism, in helping to expand the Muslim Brotherhood that have killed off, I can't even come up with the numbers of how many tens of thousands of individuals that have been murdered because of these people. Why aren't these people already in jail for war crimes? Why aren't these people already in jail for crimes against humanity? Because once they're convicted, as many of the tens of thousands of people who have been murdered because of them, they need to get the death penalty. There is, when you go on that level, there's no looking back on that. On top of the treason, I've gone over this before. However, please understand, you were born with the right to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, property, freedom of, to assemble with whoever you want to assemble with. The government's not allowed to touch that. But you've gotten so brainwashed, you've gotten so propagandized, that you think you need them to write on a sheet of paper that, hey, I'm going to give you permission to have this if you do this. I think somebody needs to go back and start reading the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, as well as the founding documents. This has been going on for a very long time, and the only way we're going to stop it is if we start really educating. Do not be fooled. Do not sit back and think just because Donald Trump became president that we can sit and rest on our laurels. Absolutely not. Now, we have to still continue to push, to still continue to educate, to still work within our communities, to still make sure to hold individuals accountable. Trump is not our savior. He's simply a man. And yes, it was a victory. The globalist elite are panicking around the globe. You've got people that are in protest all around the globe trying to get their leaders out now. You're talking about France is getting ready to do another vote. People around the globe are done with the globalist elite corrupt and evil manipulation of our populations, the mass murder, the control, the resource grab. We're done. We've been done. And that's the message that America sent. You can take your Marxism, communism, and everything else, and this is my opinion, because that ideology does not coexist with the Constitution of the United States. That ideology also destroys your 
unalienable right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So even if you believe in that, I'm still going to fight for your rights. I'm still going to fight to expose truth, but make no mistake. I'm going to give Donald Trump benefit of the doubt, but I'm going to keep a very close eye on President-elect Donald Trump. And I will report honestly on him like I have everybody else, whether they're Republican, Democrat, Independent, doesn't matter. Because the truth is what we seek, and freedom and liberty is the goal. Thumbs up if you like my message. Share if you think it's important. Thank you. God bless you. Semper Fidelis. And as always, watch your backs, check your facts. And let's remember, it's our duty, mine and yours, to protect our neighborhoods, our communities, and our cities. It does not just rest on the police. When you just rest on the police, you're begging for a police state. Think about that. Don't let them win because that's all this is and I've said it for years. Soros, all of them, they're going to try to do the same thing that they did in all the other parts of the globe. It is habitual it is easily predicted. Satan doesn't have a new game. It's always the same. God bless you and good night.